Lord, open our hearts and minds by the power of your Holy Spirit, that as the scriptures are read and your word is proclaimed, we may hear with joy what you say to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture lesson today is from Amos, chapter 7, verses 10 to 17. If you'd like to follow along with me, please turn to page 840 in your pew Bible. Listen as the priest, Amaziah, complains about the prophet Amos to King Jeroboam. Amos responds by claiming that his power does not come from religious and political authorities, but from God, who judges Israel and predicts the fall of the northern kingdom through Amos' words. God always blesses the reading and hearing of the Holy Scripture. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to King Jeroboam of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in every center of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus, Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go to exile away from his land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, earn your bread there, and prophesy there, but never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is a king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet, nor a prophet's son, but I am a herdsman and dresser of sycamore trees. And the Lord took for me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go, prophecy to my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel, and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus say the Lord, your wife shall become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword, and your land shall be parceled out by line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land, and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. God always blesses the reading and hearing of Holy Scripture. <clears throat> 